So a video popped up on my algorithm today talking about um, the negative health effects of fiber. And I'm just like, and that it could cause, you know, constipation or bloating or stuff like that. And then in my, I thought to myself, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, this is getting insane with the amount of opposite information that is on the internet of studies of opposite information. This is getting insane. So, okay. We've been hearing about fiber being great for you. This is the first time I heard of that. Like, so we always hear, oh, eat more fiber. Oh, eat more fiber. Clears out your digestive tract. Oh, okay. Really good for your health. Okay. So I'm just like, okay, fiber. Now that apparently there are studies are that you shouldn't be eating that much fiber. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. So then I started thinking to myself, I'm like, how, how much opposite information topics are there now? So I'm like, okay. So I made a little list here that I have. I'm going to possibly be looking down. Eggs. We've of course heard that all those studies that have come out, oh, you shouldn't eat very many eggs and uh, because of the high cholesterol and stuff like that. And then of course, opposite studies saying that eggs are one of the healthiest things that you can possibly eat. Okay, red meat. Um, recent Harvard study that came out that's really trying to link red meat to um, heart disease. So that's a classic, red meat. Um, and then of course you've got people who think that's the, basically the healthiest thing you could eat, especially like for a guy raises testosterone. So opposite information on there about red meat that leads just into just carnivore in general. Now there's all sorts of late, like lately there's all sorts of videos saying that you should do the carnivore diet. Look how, look how healthy that is. And then you have opposite information out there saying that you shouldn't do carnivore diet and like what a disaster Atkins diet was and stuff like that. So opposite there. And then you got plants, plants, opposite information about eating vegetables. You have obviously tons of people who say you should eat lots of vegetables, eat lots of vegetables in your diet, but then you have the opposite. There's videos out there that say that vegetables have this compound in them that release. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a compound in vegetables, especially nightshades, of course. Um, that gets released in your body. That's kind of like a, a toxin almost because it's like vegetables. If you think about it, they don't really like want to be eaten, uh, by animals. So there's like that protective, uh, chemical that they release, uh, because vegetables don't want to be eaten. So therefore you should, you know, maybe eat fruit instead. Oh, that leads to fruit. Of course, some people are like very anti-fruit at, at all because of just too much sugar. And then you have, you know, the people who say you should eat fruit. So fruits and other ones wasn't even on my list. Opposite information. Uh, okay. Uh, keto. Keto. Super opposite information on that one too. You have one camp that says that keto is, you should basically almost always be doing keto and that carbs are just the devil basically uh, because carbs uh, basically turn in, get broken down basically into sugar, into your bloodstream, your uh, into your body, I mean, and then your liver has to deal with it. Um, and that carbs, um, they're just, they, they raise your blood sugar too much. And then that's too much in insulin is going through your body. Insulin's the fat storing hormone. Uh, so just avoid carbs at all cost. And then completely opposite information on carbs, especially for men. There's people who say that if you do stop eating carbs and you do keto, it crashes your testosterone. So you can't do that. So there's plenty of people that are very pro carbs, completely opposite information out there about that. Okay. Another one is uh, fish and seafood. Some people say you should eat it and eat it often because of course the omega threes got to have it. But then there's some people who say you could, should basically barely eat it because it's too, um, has too many toxins in it like mercury and, um, uh, there are one more other than mercury, but because of the oceans being so polluted and fish, you know, taking on so many, um, environmental toxins so that you should, should barely eat fish because of especially tuna because of how uh, toxic it is okay another one uh, completely opposite information oatmeal uh, especially for men uh, I've had videos pop up that say if you're a man you should not eat oatmeal because it has that like a chemical in it that lowers your testosterone shouldn't eat oatmeal at all of course you can go find completely opposite videos saying that oatmeal is great for your health Okay. This one isn't even, okay. I'm going to finish up two more like food and beverage ones. Um, okay. So wine classic studies about, Oh, glass of wine a day is fine. Fine for you. Glass of wine a day. In fact, it's healthy resveratrol is in it. Uh -huh. And then 
opposite on that about wine. Like, shouldn't drink alcohol. Your liver's not going to be happy. Alcohol's a toxin. It's a poison. Shouldn't do it. Okay. Coffee. Another one. Oh my goodness. There's so many people who just drink coffee every single day. They have a black coffee every morning to like, um, to extend their fasting, intermittent fasting. So a black coffee. And so, um, and then there's some people, you know, oh, co coffee, it's, 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 um, acidic. It's too acidic. Um, uh, also, uh, raises cortisol. So opposite information on coffee and caffeine. Caffeine's a whole nother topic that too deep, can't even dive into it really, but uh, some people have it as a nootropic basically and that caffeine's fine. Other people complete opposite boat. Um, and then another one, these are these are the final ones for men. Uh, porn for men. Uh, some people say it's okay and you can handle it, but other people say definitely not. And retention. Even opposite information about retention out there. Some people say it raises your testosterone. Some people say it lowers your testosterone. The amount of opposite information out there has gotten ridiculous. 